last time I played, we did the leech. And the leech was one of my favorite ones. That was one of the only ones that I remembered. Um, so now we are gonna do the final one of the first four, which is the ox. And the ox, I think, is in the farm area. I think it's in the farm area. Let's see. Uh, up here? Is it up here? I know there's a teleporter somewhere. Uh, no, you're not a teleporter. <laughs> Where is it? Did I pass it? There it is. Ha ha. Yee. I think the ox one is a cool one too, if I remember. Like, I can't remember. It was either re like cool or really boring. I'm hoping it's cool. All right, here we go. Um, the ox. I think we have to talk to the squash farmer, and he's up here. Here he is. Hello. A hefty gourd stands before you, wiping beads of dew off his bumpy forehead. He tilts up the brim of his hat and greets you with what you interpret as a smile. Welcome to my farm, stranger. What brings you out here? How's it growing, farmer? <laughs> Oh, you know, not so bad. Trying my best Vinzy Harvest competition this year. Well, you look to be making good progress. I'm sure you'll be a shoe in for the blue ribbon. You would think with <laughs> these V's and Z's, you would think so, wouldn't you? But every year, Vizut fail, that sour ox takes the prize. No matter how hard I work, I can't seem to outgrow his crops. Careful now, you're beginning to sound like a sore loser. <laughs> ja, ja, not sore loser. I just think it's quite suspicious, don't you? Last year, the ox and his family grew the largest corn cobs I've ever seen. I was only barely able to get second place because of my own little helpers. He motions to animated turnips and potatoes busy with menial farm work. But this year, his crops are larger than ever before. Even though his family is nowhere to be seen, it doesn't make any sense to me. He's working in the f he's working the fields all by himself. What happened to his family? That's the fishy part. No one knows. They just disappeared one day, and the ox has said nothing. Hmm, that does sound suspicious. Perhaps I'll go and ask him myself. Ja ja, his farm is down to the to the southwest, Sa southwest. <laughs> You can't miss it. I must get back to work. Veggies won't grow themselves, you know. Very true. You have a nice cabbage baby going on. New chapter. The ox. Shadowed way. Did you say southwest? Ah, okay. So it's in a separate area. Got it. Mm. <laughs> Speak to the ox in his farm. Ooh, I okay. Now it's try it's clicking. It's clicking in my head what this one's about. This one's awesome. This one's pretty on the darker end. Uh I'm lost already. Where do I go? Ooh. What's this? Can I harvest that? No. Oh, he's got a doggy! Hi! This old pooch deserves a treat. Can we give him one? Oh, he also has a little helper. Well, we don't need to mess with them yet. He's got chickens. <laughs> He's got poop. Whoa. That gourd head is bound to rot. Why is it moving? And there he is. <laughs> He's so big! <laughs> He's so big! Look at that home. Hey, this is private property. What are you doing trespassing on my land? Why, I just came to admire the glow of your crops, Master Ox. I heard you produce the most bountiful pro uh, produce in the land. Ha! Well, you heard right. I work day in and day out till my hands raw and my back is broken. But you won't find a finer farm anywhere else. You're sure to take first prize at the harvest festival again. You and your family must be so proud. The ox spits on the tilled soil. Pah, those lazy louts never understood the pride and joy of devoting oneself to the land. What's good what's good wait, what good's a family that gripes about hard labor? We have never won any of those competitions if it wasn't for my sacrifice. Where is your family, then? I can't help but notice you're working all by yourself. If you must know, those damnable bandits out by the South Bridge stormed in the place one night and stole them away. Bandits? You don't seem very concerned about getting them back. Ha! <laughs> I'm better off. 
For all I know, they could have been already ransomed off for fertilizer. But if you're so worried, why don't you go talk to those bloody brigands yourself? Now get your big nose off my field, or I'll toss you into the compost heap. Okay. Lovely man. Very lovely. Where is your... You don't really have big crops here. Like, what are these? You got mid crops. Where are these bandit fields? Uh, I think... Oh, right here? Wow. <laughs> Literal neighbors. Okay. Guys, did you steal his wife? Do I have to- oh no. What do you need? Dreadful doll? How do I- Oh wait, actually I might be able to make it. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna use it just yet. I just wanna get around you guys. No. Charge! There are far too many for me to just sneak by. I'll have to find a way to incapitate them. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fear me. What's in here? Ooh, thank you. Fear me. Oh, hello. Ah, sly old fox. How'd you manage to get your creaky bones past me, grunt? <laughs> My mooks must be getting fat around the waist to let you slip by so easy. Never too old to teach some youngins that hands are better left out of people's pockets. Next time I catch one of your thugs rooting for gold, they'll have to recount their fingers. Ha ha ha! Ain't afraid of nothing, are ya? Well, let me be the first to welcome you to our merry camp. Though I suspect you didn't come to just or come just to scold us. What do you know about the ox who works in the southern fields? He told me his family might have come through this way. Oh yeah? We know all about the ox. We also might have seen that family of his, but on the other hand, maybe we didn't. What's it to you? Listen up, you big lug. That information is just about the only thing stopping me from changing the whole lot of you into stinking chickens. <laughs> Alright, Granny. I don't need to get upset. I'm just playing games, you know? Yeah, we've seen that family. The boy and his mom, if I remember. Always walking in that big ox's shadow. Always looking afraid of him, too. So you didn't kidnap them? Where are they now? You know, you remind me of... You remind me, dear... Uh, you remind me of... You remind me of me, dear old ma. She didn't take no guff from no one, ne neither. Ah, she used to bake the most delicious meat pies. I, should do I sure do miss her cooking. Me and the boys have been awful hungry lately. Thieving is hard work and crime doesn't always pay. I have to give you pie? Say, you know how to bake? I even got my Oz pie recipe right here. Who knows on a full stomach? I might even remember something about that missing family. Humble pie. Okay. Uh, let's see. Humble pie. No! What is this? Dough? Do I have enough for meat? Okay, I have enough for spices. But I don't have enough freaking embers. Do I have to do this potion again, too? Like, how temporary is it? Okay, so that's enough. Oh, no. Are you mad at me now? Oh no, they're chilling. Well, I guess you're in now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I guess I am here. There's. Oh, let me get this too. Uh, oink. one pie. There we go. Oh, greedy fat man! I have your pie. Mummy's recipe. Yeah. Ooh, these respawned. Don't mind if I do. What are these little things for? I still have not found a whole reason to use them. <laughs> Say, you know, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I want a pie in my tummy, tum, tum. Come on, then. Have a helping. The bandit plunges his hand into the pie, grabbing a fistful. He barks in delight as wet chunks of pie filling spatter out of his gob. Ew! Ah, delish, just like how Ma used to make, but some different. He picks a small black feather from between his yellow teeth. Is this crow? I figured you could do with a serving of humility. The gargantuan man's lips begin to quiver. Great watery tears will up in his beady eyes. 
What's the matter, dearie? Are the spices too strong? <laughs> no, it ain't the spices. It's just... It's just... He deteriorates into great shuddering sobs that shakes the camp. Moss always said I was a bad seed. Said I weren't good enough. I weren't, I weren't good for nothing but eating and thieving. But all I really wanted to do was dance. I was gonna make the greatest dance troupe the world has ever seen. Had a name in my in my in mind and everything. Pick and leaping the pick and the leaping pockets. But. But I ain't been doing nothing but taking, always taking. Oh, Ma was right. I'm a bad apple. Come on now, dry those eyes. You're not all that bad. He snorts a dangling glob of snot back into his nose. Oh, you really think so? You gently reassure him with another helping of pie. Of course not. You're not going to. You're going to tell me all about the ox's family, aren't you? Oh, right. Well, you see, we've been spying on that ox for years now. Every full moon, he'd go out into his fields all by his lonesome. He'd howl at the sky. What was it he'd say? Oh, yeah. He'd yell, Abraca corn cob! <laughs> and it always sounded like he got into an argument with someone. But there was never anyone there. Except that creepy old scarecrow of his. You pat the sniffling rogue on his stubbly cheek. That's a good lad. Maybe it's time to think about trading the daggers for dance shoes. He stuffs more handfuls of the crumbling pie between his blubbering lips. <laughs> yes, um, I'll do it. I'll dance. <laughs> Still weeping into his pie. Aww. Well, I hope you guys like dancing because it seems like your boss is going to make you dance, partners. So speak to the scarecrow. So it wasn't like out here in the field, he would be in his property. Okay. Alright, Mr. Scarecrow, you got a lot of explaining to do. This eerie simulacrum of a human sways in the breeze. Its lumpy face seems to leer down at you as if expecting something. Ah. Abra corn cob? The figure creaks against its pole as its vegetative head twists to look at you. It takes a wheezing breath, expelling a moth from its mouth hole. Hello, yes? Have you come to strike a deal with the great and magni magnanimous harvest master? Oh, no thank you. I'm involved in quite too many dark contracts with supernatural beings already. Why then have you summoned me? Has the ox made a deal with you, perchance? The ox? Oh, why, yes! Terrible trade, I say, but a deal's a deal. What sort of trade? Does it have to do with his missing family? Yes! He said he wanted to win pretty prizes, grow the best crops, said he would give up anything in the world. So he offered me his wife and son, and I'm not one to refuse a bargain like that. Where are they? What did you do with them? Don't worry, they're fine. But as long as I make the crops grow, they belong to me. And if the crops should fail, your deal would be broken. Ha! I'm the great harvest master. My harvest will never fail. We'll see about that. I better take a closer look at these prize-winning plants. Oh! Okay. Sorry, Ox. I didn't mean to talk to about your things right in front of you. <laughs> Uh, what do you want me to take a look at? Oh! Withering can! These crops are robust, thriving beyond anything else nearby. What are they? Harumph! These stalks don't look so sturdy to me. A good herbicide ought to shrivel these right up. That'll teach that ox a lesson about proper agricultural practices. I'll need a, study in I need a sturdy enough vessel to hold the poison, though. Maybe I can convince that vegetal fellow to give up that nice big watering can of his. Great. Striking deals with everybody right now. We can't make our own? Well, I guess that would take too long. We make potions and traps. Definitely not watering cans. How will we know that his watering can will work? That's messed up, though. Sacrificing your, <laughs> your, your wife and child. 
<laughs> for some pretty crops. Hey, buddy. Well, hello again. Find out anything about what that ox is up to? As a matter of fact, I have. It seems he traded his family to a turnip wizard or field genie or some other such nonsense. Ah, you must mean the harvest master. That explains a lot, actually. Bad business gets to get mixed up with that sort of fellow. The farmer nervously wipes his brow with the back of his leafy hand. Uh, not that I would know anything about that myself. <laughs> Listen, I don't have time to exchange farm gossip. I need to borrow your watering can over there. Ah, I'd be happy to lend it to you, but unfortunately, I still need to grow my prize vining vegetable. You glance down at the fat head of the cabbage, bobbing gently against the blanket of big, swaddling leaves. You think you may have heard a faint giggle coming from deep within the fronds? Seems plenty big enough to me. Ah, just you wait. My little baby is going to grow up to be a great big baby. <laughs> it's going to be the belle of the ball at this year's festival. But if it were to, say, grow a little bit faster, I suppose I wouldn't need my watering can at all. You swear the farmer winks at you <laughs> despite not being equipped with any eyes. <laughs> uh, does nobody here grow produce in an honest way? Let me take a look at that little tyke. A little baby cabbage! You look down at the fattest little cabbage you've ever seen. But it gets but if it gets your hands on that watering can, you could stand to be a little fatter. It could stand to be a little fatter. Growth potion, turkey gizzard stone. Two jars of water. Okay. Uh okay, let's what's growth potion? Oh, I thought it was more meat again. Growth potion. Oh, I'm gonna have to make so many jars. Oh no, I'm gonna have I need three jars. Oh, I could do it. We are fine with that. Oh, I need mosquito stuff. That means I need smoke pellet. Alright, let's see if I can get a few mosquitoes in. But and I need to get jars of water. Dang it. Uh let me get Thank you. And then what else do I just just before I go? So I need blood. Do I have what I need for this? I do now. Uh, I need that. And then... Turkey gizzard. I know the turkeys are in the top left. Top left of the um, farm area. So maybe I'll figure it out there. Hopefully I don't need to go to the swamp twice. I should have probably checked. Here you go, mesquites. Can I get like two of you? Yeah, come here. Come here, come on, come on. Ha ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Down here. I saw a turkey down here when I was looking for the goblins. Uh, it's over. There he is. Here you go! Eat it! <laughs> thank you! Alright, now we got everything. Uh, up here? Right? Yeah! I got your little goodies! You look down at the fattest little cabbage. Alright, here's a group potion. You pop open the cork of the potion and sprinkles a bright liquid onto the cabbage's roots. You look okay. A uh, grizzard stone. Crushed into fine powder, a grizzard stone lends pot uh, potent nutrients to the soil. And then water. You spritz the cabbage with fresh, clear water while uttering a simple horticultural charm. The water beads like dew drops before the leaves drink them up and brighten in color. The budding plant changes into to a bright purple, then blue, then yellow. It suddenly goes rigid and shrinks to the size of a marble. The farmer gasps in horror as his precious baby disappears back into the earth. He turns to you, shoulders stiff and pitchfork in hand. He takes one step in your direction, but stops abruptly when a tremor shakes the ground. You look to your feet and watch a deep crack split the earth. Hold on to your hat. This one's gonna be big. <laughs> you hear a booming giggle echo from deep in the ground. Uh, the, vegeta the vegetal farmer falls to his knees, clutching his hat to his chest. 
Oh, look how cute he is! <laughs> He's so cute! In an explosion of leafy greens and flying earth, the bouncing head of an enormous cabbage erupts into the field. The farmer reaches out to it shakily. My, my little baby? Papa? <laughs> The farmer scrambles towards the big bumbling cabbage with open arms. My beautiful baby, look at how big you've grown. See, with a little love and a help from your friends, you're sure to win first prize after all. Oh, I don't even care about all that silly zing anymore. Just look how handsome my baby is. The two embrace, laughing and crying. I guess you won't be needing that watering can anymore? Please, help yourself. You've helped me more than more than enough. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, baby. He's so cute! <laughs> That's an adorable thing! He's so cute! It gurgles at you gleefully. <laughs> Thanks for the watering can! It'll take some work to break through the Scarecrow's magical boon, but you're confident in your mastery of poisons. Oh! Now, Potion of Blight, Weird Water, Pumpkin Jack Bone. Okay, so let's. This one. Oh no, I need another jar. Why do you make me run to get water? And I'm out of that. Okay, I need one jar. I need to get a newt and a newt. I think a newt uses a snap trap. So I need that. Okay. I'm gonna have to get more reeds. Um, newt eye, weird water, and then pumpkin jack bone. Oh, here we go. I need this to make. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, I definitely need to get more materials. We're running a little low, a little low, a little too uncomfortable. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little weary. I don't need to be running around again, so I have to be collecting a little bit more. What did these. I figured out the pumpkin jacks needed. Was it a smoke bomb they needed? Let me see. Snag vine. Snag vine should be fairly easy. I really can't collect water from here. Mm. I mean, if I actually hover over it in a jar of water. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? In the fields. I can't get a jar of water in the fields. How? Kind of want to stay as much as I can in the same spot. Excuse me. Do you have water? Oh, you do! Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, we got that. Now we gotta go get Eye of Newt. Um, and that's it. Oh, okay. Easy. And the portal we are right next to, actually. Sweet. Uh, last time I saw one was kind of by Grandma. I'll go check by her real quick. Take all that. He oh, I didn't realize he's here! <laughs> he's just here chilling. Love, wife. Thank you, sister. He's good as new. <laughs> That's so cute. I didn't realize that he just came here to chill out. Aww. Well, I'm glad they're able to be together again. I got what I need. There we go. Thank you. I'm such a proud papa. Aww. Uh, pushing up lights. You hold your breath and empty the poisonous vial into the container. The toxic fumes make your fingernails curl. Ooh! Uh, weird water? A good amount of weird water will dilute the poison to keep it from eating straight through the metal can. Okay, and then pumpkin jack bone. You crush up the impish bone into fine powder. This potent fertilizer will help spread the blight. Hmm. You find a hefty stick to mix all the ingredients together inside the watering can. You know your work is done when the stick dissolves into mush in your hands. Take it. Ooh, we got it. You're done for. You're screwed. Your crops are about to go bye-bye. I hope it was worth it, you buffoon. Giving up your wife and your child for a corn. Maybe a good sweet potato, but corn? Where, how do I, over here? Gosh dang it, so slow. I need like a little bicycle. Can I get like an old lady bicycle? Hey, I thought I told you to beat it. He raises his hoe and brandishes at it at you menacingly. Leave me alone! Ah! <laughs> what do 
about your crops now, little loser? Oh, this! <laughs> You're done. You watch the sickness spreading up the stalks to the very tip of the tallest leaves. Vivid green turns to diseased brown as the crops bend and droop. No, what is happening? Harvest Master, we had a deal. You promised my crops would never fail. Dreadfully sorry. Looks like my magic is broken. Not my fault. The ox throws himself to the ground, desperately raking the soil with his fingers. Wait, let's make a new deal, please. I sacrificed too much for this. A new deal? What is your offer? Anything you want, just bring my precious crops back to me. Anything? This is acceptable. Worm-like roots suddenly wrap around the ox's feet and begin dragging him into the soil. Yeah! Wait, I didn't mean- Oh, you're done. <laughs> Hope it was worth it. The dust settles over the spot where the ox once stood as if nothing had happened. Though the soil looks barren and diseased, a small sprout of leafy green catches your eye. <gasps> Is that the spirit of the ox? <laughs> oh, look at that. Where the ox once stood, yep, a green tendril has pushed its way through the earth. You watch a delicate blossom unfurl, revealing a stubborn, hard-shelled seed. The soul of the ox. Yay! The souls of the bear, leech, snake, and ox jostle in your satchel with fearful energies. That's that then. I better get these back home to the goat before he ransacks the rest of my place. Do we- is this? Return home. Time to go home. Uh, wait. Does it waste it? Frick, I don't remember. Oh, it does. Whoops. Well, you know what? That makes my life a little bit quicker. Mr. Go, I totally forgot what voice I gave you, so I'm just gonna make up another one. Uh, is he in my house? Are you in my house? No. Gosh, I have such a nice, cozy place. Are you over here? Oh, are you in here? With the lady? What are you doing in here with her? A little creepy if you ask me. Gosh, the amount of roses. The goat rears its head at the sight of you. Its hooves pound the ground excitedly. Most excellent. I can sense the presence of the spirits about you. You must have captured the souls I've asked for. No small task, I can tell you that. Just what do you plan on doing with them? Oh, this and that. Nothing you must concern yourself with. What's important is that you are one step closer to fulfilling your contract with me. Just go ahead and place them in the shrine there. I'll take care of the rest. The goat shakes its head toward a carved relief at the back of the room, grinning in a horrible way that no goat should. <laughs> you approach the shrine and open your satchel, the stuffed bear. As you bring the stuffed bear close to the carved stone, relief in the wall it spontaneously bursts into flames in your hands burning away until only a harsh red stone remains the stone zips out of your grasp and straight into a socket on the wall buzzing like some angry insect oh you are buffeted by flashes of the bear's wrath drunken roaring cowering bodies splintered wood the smell of honey dried worm as with the first, the mummified husk of the leech turns to ash as you bring it close to the wall, leaving only a glowing orb in its place. Images of the leech slither into your mind, the prick of a needle, the drip, drip, drip of draining fluids, soothing words, restless sleep, cracked mirror. Prismatic colors flash through your head at the thought of the snake, secrets lapped up by a forked tongue, whispers beneath the sound of, the, of festivities and seed. The ox brings with him the overbearing heat of the midday sun, the salty tang of sweat in the soil, suffering, sacrifice, solitude. Did we not save the ox's mom and son then? Dang. You step away from the shrine and its smoldering stones. Your burdens suddenly feel much lighter. Beside you, the sleeping maiden stirs in her slumber, but does not wake. She's so pretty! Now then, 
You have a very long day. Why don't you get some rest? Tomorrow we shall pick up bright and early. Yes, I am quite tired. What does he do to us to want to like sleep? Oh, it's weird. Oh, it makes me feel weird. Icky, icky goat, icky goat. Gosh, I only sleep in a chair? Who is this? Was that painting always here? Who is she? Is that me? And who is this? This looks like Edward from freaking Twilight. <laughs> okay, alright. Good morning! Another day, another dollar. Ah, uh, ah, good morning, my swamp lily. I trust you slept well. Like the dead. You stretch out your back, making a sound like snapping twigs. Well, no time to dilly-dally. I sense the next four souls on our list. You must travel east, out of the forest, and towards civilization. Ugh, I hate crowds. Well, it can't be helped. You must seek out these souls in the village, the market, the docks, and the graveyard. Hmm, the graveyard might at least be a reprieve from chattering townsfolk. Alright, go. I'll bring you your souls. You seem much more reasonable today. Have a change of heart, perchance? If these next four are anything like the last, they'll get what's coming to them. I'm glad we have reached an understanding. Oh, the cat, the rat, the fish, the ram. The cat is in the market. We're gonna go in order this time. The leech I always found the coolest. I wanted to do it somewhat last, but this time I'm just gonna go in order. I think the ram is the most like spicy one anyways. 